Hey, hi, hello, my name is Discat. This is Project Hardcover, where we're letting books be the escape. Hello, lovelies, and today for you, I have my April book haul. That's right, look at me trying to be better about the monthly book haul thing like I promised in my last book haul. I'm just so proud of me right now. Yeah, we'll just see how long this responsibility thing lasts. But all of that aside, I have quite a few books to show you guys today, so let's just hurry up and get started. These first couple of books I'm going to show you, I am going to show you really, really fast, and that is because I did an unboxing of these books, which if you want to view that, you can high-five me right here. High-five, high-five! And those first couple of books are all of the current books in the Raven Cycle Quartet by Maggie Steve Otter, the entire Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor, and yet another copy of The Book Thief by Marcus Susak. Yes, so I did an unboxing for all of these books, and I explained all of the reasons why I bought them. Basically, they're for annotation and collection purposes, so if you want to hear all about that, go watch the unboxing video, because I really don't want to get into it again, because I still have a couple more books to show you guys. The next book that I got in the month of April was one of my most anticipated books of the year, and I was just so, so freaking happy when I got my grubby little hands on it, and it was The Shadows by J.R. Ward. Yes, you guys cannot understand how deafening my squeal of happiness was when I finally received this in the mail. I've just been waiting for this book for so, so long, and I read it, and I love the ever-loving crap out of it. If you want to hear my thoughts on this, you can watch my April wrap-up, or you can watch the review that I did on this book. I will leave the links to those things down in the doobly-doo. Just, guys, I love this series. Like, on an extremely unhealthy level. I just love this series. I love these characters. I just, oh, J.R. Ward, you have given me a gift in book form. The next book that I received in the month of April was another one of my most anticipated releases, and it was The Wicked Will Rise by Daniel Page, which is the second book in the Dorothy Must Die trilogy. So yes, this was just another one of those books that I was just so anxiously awaiting. I read the first book in the series sometime last year, and I just really really loved it and I was really excited to see where the story went and I did and it was okay. You want to hear more of my thoughts on this book? Also check out my April wrap up. The next book that I got in the month of April was a graphic novel and it was Sex Criminals Volume 1 by Matt Fraction and Chip Tvarsky, Tvar, 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 Tvar something. Yes, this is one of those graphic novels that I've just seen circulating the booktubes quite a bit, and it just seemed really, really intriguing, so I got my hands on it, and I read it, and I really liked it. Again, if you want to hear my thoughts on this, check out my April wrap-up. It will be down there in the pent region. The next book that I got in April was a gift from my dad, and I'm actually really, really excited for it because I'm gonna be using it real soon, and it is the Pictorial Guide to Tarot by Arthur Edward Waite. Yeah, so I'm actually really excited that my dad got me this because Maggie Steve Otter, the author of the Raven Cycle Quartet, aka like the best book series in the world, has been working on a special tarot card deck like for the past year at least, maybe even two years now, and it's finally, finally going to be available for purchase this year, and I am so excited to get my grubby little hands on it, so I figured this is going to come in quite handy. I will leave a link to where you can pre-order Maggie's tarot card deck. Guys, these pictures are so beautiful, and she hand-drew them all herself. She's been, like, documenting the entire process on, like, Tumblr and Twitter, and they're just so stunning and amazing. Just definitely go buy them, buy them, buy so many of them. The next book that I acquired in the month of April was Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. I actually 
actually got this book for a nickel at a hand-me-down book sale. That's right, like a whole five cents. Now granted, it is a little beat up, it has a little bit of water damage, but it's still completely readable and overall in pretty decent shape. Now I have yet to start either this series or the Vampire Academy series, but I am determined to start the Vampire Academy series this year, and I figured for five cents, why not just pick this up? The next book that I acquired in the month of April, I kind of already had in my possession, and it is The Stand, the complete and uncut edition by Stephen King. So this book was found while my family was rummaging around in the attic, and no one really knows who it belongs to. It could be one of my sisters, it could be my mom's. We don't know, but none of them wanted it, and I kinda did, so I just took it. Basically what makes this book so special is The Stand was originally published in kind of an incomplete form. Like a whole crap ton of it was like not put in the final edition. But this edition contains all 500, that's right, 500 not included pages that the original was missing. So like 500 pages of this book were not in the original, but now here the entire massive giant thing is, and I have no idea when I'm going to get to this, but I'm excited for it. This is like one of his big, really popular ones, so I'm excited to get to this someday. And then the last book that I acquired in the month of April was Sabriel by Garth Nix. This is another book that I picked up for a nickel at that hand-me-down book sale. And this one is like a near perfect condition. There's like nothing wrong with it. So over the years, I've just heard ridiculously good things about this series, but for some reason, it just never popped up on my radar. The series has really, really been getting more and more popular as the years go on and as more books come out. So when I saw it at that little hand-me-down book sale for a nickel, I just figured, why not? Just pick it up. And I did, and now I have it. I know absolutely nothing about what this series is about. I just know that it's kind of like a high fantasy thing, which kind of intimidates me because high fantasy really isn't my thing, but I think this is more middle grade. So I'm hoping that the high fantasy will be more digestible. And that is it. Those are all of the books that I acquired in the month of April. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have read any of these books, what you thought of them, what you think I will think of them. I would love to hear all about it. As always, thanks you guys for watching. I will see you next time and remember, books are the escape.